the problem here is that we are supposed to write one prolog code for the appending of two lists. So, let us go for further explanation for, for your understanding. So, see, so append two given lists, this is the problem for us. We shall have to define the procedure list append L1, L2, L3. So, list append is the procedure we are going to define here. So, this predicate is having three arguments L1, L2, L3, which will append L1 and L2 to generate L3. So, that means the first argument will be one of the source lists, the second argument will be another source list and the last argument will be the list which will be obtained after doing the append operation as a result. So, for example, list append if I give this as a first list, second list then x will have the value like this one. So, in this way the list will get append in this way. So, list append 3 and then 4, 5, 6 and then x then it will come like this one. So, how to write the respective code so that this outputs will be coming as we have demonstrated. So, if you can write the code then pause the video here and try to write the code accordingly and test the outputs with this given queries. Otherwise, the demonstration, the practical demonstration is always for you for your understanding. So, here is the demonstration. In this program, we shall append a list at the end of one item. So, the item will become the head of the list. So, now to have this list append, let us go for list member at first. So, list member means x will be the member of the list if x is the head element. Otherwise, x will be the member of the list if x is belonging to the tail of the list. So, this list member has been used in this list append clause. So, a is the item, t is the list which is going to be added at the end of a. It is possible if and only if a is not the member of t. So, that means after appending this item this list t at the end of the item a, it will remain with the t if a is a member of the list t. Otherwise, a tail will become a tail in this way. So, that means a will remain as the head and tail will remain as the tail of the list. So, here we have used this symbol that is known as cut. That means when this condition is true, then, then as we have given a cut here, so this particular list append clause will not be evaluated. So, when this condition is true, then it will, it will execute this one and then as it is having a cut, so another clause that is list append will not get evaluated in this case. So, now let us go for the execution. So, here we have done the listing. So, this is our listing. So, we are going for this list append. So, we are getting this that is BCD, this list has become has appended at the end of A. So, the total list has become ABCD. So, this list append will not work if A is the member of the list initially. So, that is why you see the A has not been uh, treated as a new head element because A is already there. A was already there in the list. So, that is why this is the final output. That is a native clause here known as append. So, that clause can also do the same, but it is having a little bit different meaning. So, this is our respective append. So, now in this way you can find that ABCD is the head elements and E will be there at the end. So, that is the native function append also we can use this one but it is having something different meaning compared to the code whatever you have written here. So, in this way we have shown you that how the list append can be done and what is the list member. Thanks for watching this video.